So without people like ICS, there's no way that we can get these jobs done properly. So they're a valuable piece of the puzzle. Hi, I'm Nick Kaikinen from Vulcan Gunnery Finishing. We specialize in restoring and repairing and refurbishing vintage military weapons, mostly handguns and uh, rifles, but we've done uh, knives, we've done hand grenades, we've done uh, pieces of artillery, we've done lots of different things. Um, I'm a collector of uh, vintage military uh, rifles and pistols, and uh, I could never afford to buy the mint examples, so I bought ones that needed to be repaired, but then I couldn't find anybody who could repair them properly. So I decided to learn the different processes and uh, get into it myself, just as a hobby, about 30 years ago. And I just kept plugging away on my own collection and improving and building my own collection. And people started to see my guns and started asking me if I could refinish theirs. So I did, and one thing led to another, and things got busier and busier. So finally, after 40 years in the auto painting and bodywork business, I got out of it and got full-time into the uh, gun refinishing business about seven years ago now. And uh, business is just phenomenal. We're extremely busy. According to the government, we're the only ones in the country that do these full restorations. Lots of gunsmiths, but not ones that specialize in restorations. So keeps us very busy. We get guns from all over Canada, United States. We'd even get some from Europe, but it's too difficult to ship them from Europe. One of the main subcontractors that we work with is ICS Laser Technologies, and they do our engraving. They engrave uh, metal or wood. Many times when we're repairing a, a, a gun, especially if it's in rough shape and it's got pitting and things like that, we may have to remove the original stampings and nomenclature, and so obviously we have to get that replaced. So once we get the metal back to a perfect condition, we take it to ICS and they can duplicate any marking, any lettering, any font or crest or seal or whatever it may, it may have. Here, I mean, here's a good example right here. We've got an M1 carbine, uh, World War II vintage, and we've had uh, the two symbols right here recreated, the SG and the what's called the ordnance wheel. And we also had some more engraving done right here in this uh, sling cutout called the Trimble TN. So this now brings this stock back to an original configuration, just like it would have left the factory. So without people like ICS, there's no way that we can get these jobs done properly. So they're a valuable piece of the puzzle.